Well, as the Lansing Police Department tackles violent crime, the number of guns collected by police officers has more than doubled in the last three years. Now, police officials say this comes at a time when city resources at Lansing residents are getting more involved in addressing the violence. Josh Sanchez is here for you now with a closer look. Josh. Sherry Lauren, Chief of Police Ellery Sosby, says Lansing is experiencing a nationwide trend, an increase in violent crime. He says in terms of gun violence, his department is seeing younger suspects, some of them younger than 18. He says guns involved in these crimes tend to be either stolen or not properly locked and secured. Now, Chief Sosby explains that coordination within the department and other agencies help track down these guns before they hit the streets. After a shooting, some guns left at the scene are, or are taken from suspects go through a process of print collecting and number tracing and testing. But Sosby says community members are now helping in the fight against gun violence by speaking out before the shooting starts. We've, we've run up uh, across that hurdle before, but I can tell you I think we're rounding the corner on that. I think the, 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 the citizens of Lansing are tired of the gun violence and the violence in general, and we are getting more cooperation and more people that are willing to step up uh, and say something uh, because they're tired of it, and they're, they want their community safe and their neighborhood safe. We've always said, if you see something, say something, uh, and we're starting to see much more of that, much more cooperation uh, because they're, they're just tired of the violence. We'll take a closer look at gun violence and prevention, as well as the weapon tracking process on 6 News at 11. Sherry, Lauren, back to you.